guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I've had this picture in my head that I want to try to create with my split cup. And I'm going to be using um, warm colors with, I think, maybe some Payne's Gray. I'm going to use a lot of metallics. This is a pearl white from Arteza. Everything is mixed with Floetrol and water. I am also going to be using some Unicorn Spit. Now the Unicorn Spit is just mixed with Floetrol. It's about 50-50. So 50% Unicorn Spit and 50% Floetrol. And I just mixed it directly into my bottles here. Um, I only have a tiny bit left of this red. I think it's time for me to get rid of that bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it in the middle there. And then let's do these other fun. These are all, like I just took a bunch of the Arteza Metallics and mixed them all up. So that's kind of like a peach color. This is a strawberry, um, sorry, a rose gold. And then I do have a Violet Vulture Unicorn Spit. Put that in the middle there. And I'm gonna put that uh, Payne's Gray in the middle there as well. Okay, that's pretty. And I think a bit more of this pearl white over here. And a bit more of this coral color. And then dash more of this purple. And that should be more than enough. I'm gonna get all my bottles out of the way real quick. It's actually one more color I decided to throw a little bit of in the middle and that's this uh, it's a copper, I think, from Arteza. I'll try to go through and list all the colors. This is a bunch of just metallic colors. Okay. So I'm going to do this as, not as a tree ring, but just a straight pour here. And I will be traveling, kind of going a bit for a Grand Canyon look, I guess we can say. I think just all those metallics will be super fun. The unicorn spit's always fun. And for those who don't know, unicorn spit is a stain, essentially. It's a gel. It's actually intended for staining wood. You can get it at, at they actually sell it generally, I think, at like Home Depot and Lowe's. You can, of course, get it at on Amazon. Hopefully we have enough paint in here, but already this is looking super cool. Now, one thing I have noticed with Unicorn Spit is that the colors tend to dry, um, especially the warmer colors, they tend to dull a bit as they dry because they're pretty thin. They're not like, it's a gel stain, you know what I mean? Not, a, not the same as like an acrylic paint. So I think we have enough here. I'm gonna make it work. Oh, I like that. All right, I'm gonna slowly tilt here, try to hopefully keep the patterns that I like. All right, so 100% not the look I was going for. I think I should have used more on the yellows and browns side. I went, I guess, a little, I didn't realize I put so much of that purple in there and it really kind of took over. That is okay though. Still a beautiful picture, nevertheless. So let's go ahead. We'll let this sit here for a little while and then um, see what develops. We actually have some fun cells developing over here. And then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. All right, so starting in the lower right hand corner here, a few of those fun cells. I'm really happy with the colors in this one. 
So that gold, as it dries, because it was one of the unicorn spit colors, will mute a little bit. I think this is just so pretty. Not even remotely what I was going for. Those dark colors really took over, but I'm super in love with this. So I'll, of course, be trying this again to get the look that I want, but very happy. All right, guys, don't forget to check down in the description for all the materials. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.